I'm James Spann. This is a Weather Extreme video for Monday, October 14th, the morning edition. Big changes coming up in the weather this week, so a lot to talk about. Let's get in there and take a look at the big picture this morning, the water vapor satellite view across the nation. Got a large-scale upper trough in the west, and that will be playing a big role in our weather later this week, but today we'll stay dry. Feels pretty good this morning. We're starting off the day mostly in the upper 50s and low 60s. The cool spots, Fort Payne and Cullman at 54. High today should be in the upper 70s to near 80 around the nation. Pretty chilly around the Great Lakes and back in the western states. See a lot of 30s there. In fact, I'm looking at frost and freeze advisories for uh, parts of Illinois and Wisconsin as they are ending their growing season. Got some winter weather issues out in scattered spots out west with that trough in the mountains and flash flooding issues for parts of central and southwest Texas. Severe weather possible today with the trough moving out across the Great Plains, parts of Kansas and Nebraska. And then tomorrow, no formal risks, a couple of small 5% areas, but uh, we do not expect any severe weather here later this week when that system affects Alabama. But at least it rains a little bit to settle the dust. Been pretty dry of late, but that's normal. This is the driest month of the year. This is the rain through Saturday morning at 7 o'clock, suggesting amounts of about a quarter to a half inch. And that sounds about right. We'll get most of that uh, Wednesday, Wednesday night, maybe early Thursday. Tropical weather in the Atlantic Basin stays very quiet. A little weak uh, wave just off to the east of the Windward Islands, but that's not going to do much. All the action has been on the other side in the Pacific and the Indian Oceans. Uh, this is a look at uh, Typhoon Whippa, which will be sideswiping Japan uh, in the next... Uh, few days. That'll be close to Tokyo. I'll have to keep an eye on that thing. Uh, should be weakening with time as it moves across uh, or moves close to Japan. But as you can see, the official track has it just offshore. Let's check the GFS. Let's talk about these changes here. The global forecast system, this is valid at 1 o'clock local time this afternoon at 500 millibars. There's your trough in the west. We've still got ridging here, so today should be dry. I'd say the high 77 to 81, but boy, look at the low coming out of the Rockies, almost 1,000 millibars at the junction of Colorado, Kansas, and Nebraska. And you can see why there could be some severe weather in advance of that and screaming winds on all sides of that low. Tomorrow, the upper, the surface low is located just southeast of Minneapolis, Minnesota with a trailing cold front. But for us, we think the day will stay dry. Um, maybe some increasing clouds, the high mid to upper 70s. And then Wednesday, the front just kind of drifts in here sluggishly. Uh, so we'll start that chance of rain probably Wednesday morning, maybe early Wednesday morning before sunrise. So Wednesday, the chance of showers. Will it be a big rain? Probably not. Rain amounts ought to be under one half inch. Will there be severe weather? No. And probably no thunder. Wednesday night, just after midnight, the uh, GFS just kind of dries the rain up as the uh, support lifts out. But the cold air drifts down. The thickness value is coming down in Thursday. That looks to be a relatively dry day. We might start the day with some morning clouds, maybe the sun peeking through by Thursday afternoon. I'd say the chance of rain Thursday morning looks pretty small with this. And the day will be noticeably cooler. Here's a look at Friday. Look at the cold air coming down the 540 line, uh, well below Chicago. Thickness values are really dropping here. That's going to make it a very chilly morning. I mean, uh, uh, this would suggest the low Friday morning would be in the low to mid-40s. Hey, break out the jackets and the sweaters. Here's a look at the plot coming off the uh, model data, and you can see how our numbers do bottom out really both Friday and Saturday. And Sunday morning, all three of those mornings, we ought to be in the 40s. Afternoons with just a slow warming trend. Uh, the high Friday afternoon around 70, and then we'll be in the low 70s for the weekend. Speaking of the weekend, what's it going to do? Let's take a look. This is Saturday. Hey, this is race weekend at Talladega. What's that Dega weekend going to look like? Well, uh, models are conflicting a little bit. The GFS, if you take this on face value, it's going to be a gorgeous weekend. This is Saturday, a surface high nearby, bright sunny weather with a high in the low 70s, and the same thing on Sunday, just gorgeous. Uh, chilly mornings, comfortable afternoons, couldn't be better. That's a GFS. The European, though, says, ooh, this is Saturday. And it shows a, a wave coming in from the west with some rain. 
And I would say in recent weeks and months, the GFS has been performing a lot better. So we're going to reject this solution and play the Chamber of Commerce here and forecast a beautiful weekend. But just people that watch this video, you know that there's a little uncertainty because of this. And then Sunday, that wave is by and the European looks great. So both models look beautiful on Sunday. If there's a question, it would be on Saturday. And uh, here's Monday of next week, back to the GFS, and we are uh, dry with maybe next wave coming in with a few showers by Tuesday of next week. Uh, let's go out there a few more days. Ooh, how about October 25th? That looks kind of wet with some cold air to the north. And on the end of the forecast on the 29th, as we approach Halloween, the westerlies are gathering strength and getting farther south. And look at the cold air. It's a 1033 high, but very cold air up north. Around here, that would be kind of mild and showery, if that happens to be correct. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock today. And if you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.